Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel and today's reading is going to be, today's reading question is going to be, what can you do to get the most out of the month of May? Well, the rest of it. So we have five piles today. This is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five. Please take some time out to pause this video really get in tune with the pile that you feel that you resonate most with most with and pick from there also thank you to all of you who have su subscribed to my channel so far and if you like the content on this channel please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to this channel also follow me on instagram information will be in the description box also, I am opening up for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading, my information, my contact me via email. That information will be in my about section or uh, at some point I'll put it in the description box. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this reading. How can you get the most out of the month of May? We're going to start with pile number one. All right, so pile number one. We have the Page of Swords, King of Cups, the Four of Cups in reverse. The Page of Swords is also in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands, the Strength card, and I pulled an Oracle card, Golden Opportunity. Okay, so right off the bat with you those of you who chose pile number one what i'm here is um in order for you to make the most okay so i'm getting the sense that there's something that one of you or some of you or all of you who chose this there's something that you want to do um i feel like it may concern you're refusing an opportunity. I see that right here. So and you're being told to to be strong and to take a chance. That's what I'm feeling, to take a chance. But there's an opportunity that you're refusing or there's something that you're refusing to do, um, especially with this page of cups. I mean, I'm sorry, page of swords in reverse. So, yeah, like it's something that, that you want to do. I feel like you have a new idea or something or Maybe there's a new job on the horizon. There's something new on the horizon. But right here, you're refusing this. Um, I feel like the universe is telling you to stop refusing that thing that it is that you want. And I feel like for this strength card, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I feel like for this strength card to pop up, uh, what it's indicating to me is that, you know, I'm hearing that there's fear that a piece of you avoiding this opportunity or ignoring this opportunity. No, I'm hearing ignoring, not so much avoiding. Yeah, like I'm getting like you're pushing it away. Like this thing is here, but you're pushing it away. But you're being told by the universe to have strength in this. Because even though the strength is in the upright, I'm sensing there's a bit of fear for those of you who chose this pile. There's a bit of fear here. You know, you don't feel like you're capable of the task or you're able to do it in its correct sense uh, that's what i'm hearing like you don't feel like you're able in some way you know like perhaps like maybe you'll mess this thing up but what i'm getting with this when i pulled this in man it's crazy um all of these are pulled at random as you all know but golden opportunity popped up and that just solidified this pile for me and your message you know, you have to take this opportunity, whatever this opportunity is or whatever you're refusing to do. Maybe you're refusing to work on yourself because you don't believe I'm hearing, you know, maybe there's like, you know, a self transfer transformation. You know, maybe some of you have started working out. Uh, I'm just hearing that some of you don't believe you don't believe, but you're very passionate about this thing because you have king of cups. And once again, you're being told to be strong. You know, when I'm thinking about the king of cups or any kings in any of the suits, uh, you know, this is a very strong figure. The queen and the king came up, you know, so both. 
when I think about the king and the queens in any of the suits, you know, it symbolizes strength for me. So you're being told to be strong in this situation, but then you're further being told to be, oh, I'm here, be easy on yourself because you have the king of cups. The king is very compassionate. You know, be easy on yourself. You know, take your time with this. You know, this idea, this page of swords, this idea is going to work. It's like you doubt this idea. You're being told to have strength. And with this queen of wands, you're being told to take action. So I feel like the universe is telling you directly to stop stalling on this. Or not even that you're stalling on this. Stop being afraid. I'm hearing that, yeah, those of you who chose power number one, there's a lot of fear surrounding this particular opportunity or opportunities that you have been presented presented or this idea that you have and I feel like yeah you're being told not to be afraid and to take action with this queen take action but be strong also use her strength be strong also and also have compassion you know be kind to yourself I'm hearing that be kind to yourself but take action you're being told to have strength and let go of this fear and grab onto this opportunity, you know, you know, you, we have three more weeks left in the month of May. A lot can happen. A lot can happen in 24 hours. So, yeah. Alrighty. I hope that this resonated with those of you who chose pile number one. Please let me know in the comments. Like, like this video if you like this video. Uh, yeah, let me know. And moving on to pile number two. Let's see what universe is telling you. So your oracle says, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. Let's see. What is this saying for you? All right. We got the high priestess. We have the two of swords in reverse. Okay. We have the three of swords in reverse. Oh, wow. We have the five of cups and we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So for deck number two. Or pile number two yeah so i'm sensing there's a lot of disappointment um maybe some heartache um not necessarily dealing with a romantic situation but there is a lot of disappointment going on with you right now and with this high priestess i feel like you're either being told to go within no no i'm gonna say the message that i'm hearing you already know um yeah you already know um like, there's a decision you're not making. There's something you're not deciding on. But what I'm hearing is that you're supposed to make a decision. And you know what that decision is. And for some of you, maybe this does has to have to do with a relationship. And you're, you're not wanting to make that certain decision because I'm hearing that it's hard. I'm hearing for some of you, not that you're in heartbreak, but you don't want the heartbreak that you perceive to come out of this situation and keyword perceived because I'm not necessarily hearing that the situation deals with an actual, you know, hurt or harm or let down, but you perceive that this situation is going to hurt. Oh my goodness. Thank you universe. I got it. Yeah. You are stalling on making a decision because you perceive that something is going to hurt. You're trying to avoid some hurt and you're feeling disappointed. You're feeling disappointed. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I'm hearing it again. <laughs> thank you universe. You're hearing it. You're seeing the signs, you know, that something dealing with this situation is not right. I'm hearing big red flags, big red flags. And you're feeling disappointment from that. You know, I'm gonna actually get in two folds from this five of cups. Um, the first time I'm hearing is, yeah, that you know there's something that you need to decide upon. Like with this deck, yeah, you're not indecisive. You know that there's something that you need to decide upon and you're not, you're simply not making that decision right now. And I'm hearing that is out of fear of, being hurt and i feel like you know right now you're already dealing with some disappointments you know you're disappointed at the fact that you even have to go through this you're disappointed at the fact that you know wow why am i seeing these signs again what is this you know this is what i'm hearing you say you know um and then my second message that i'm getting for this five of cups is that you all are looking too far in the past like you're looking you're paying attention to what's happened before without realizing what's gonna happen now because also with this nine of um, pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing you're not enjoying the fruit of your labor while I'm getting another double message. So for some of you, I'm definitely feeling relationship and I'm hearing that you're not enjoying this relationship and you know what you have to do. And for others of you, I'm hearing that you are so worried about 
what has happened before maybe oh oh my goodness i'm getting a lot for you who chose this pile oh wow so for pile number two i'm hearing that yeah maybe this is somebody that you have already dealt with i'm in a relationship but i'm also hearing that it can be general this is something that, or this can be just a general situation you know maybe it's work related maybe it's school related maybe but i'm hearing it's something that you've also maybe dealt with before in the past and you've been let down and let down and let down that you don't realize that this time it's going to work, that this time it can work. And so you're not enjoying the fruit, the fruit of your labor. You're not enjoying that. You can't enjoy it because you're worried. I'm hearing you're worried. Wow, you are worried. Okay. So definitely, yeah, for those of you who choose pile number two, you got to make a choice. So yeah, so I feel like I'm going to go back into this one for those of you who are worried about something and it's not actually there. Because I'm hearing that some of you are worried about something. You don't actually have evidence. You are going off of patterns, which is, you know, I applaud you. That's very smart. But with this one, you're hearing to take a chance. And this, the universe is calling you to make a decision, to decide to take a chance. Because whatever you're worried about, you can't even enjoy it. You're not even enjoying this. You're not enjoying what you've built up or what it is that you've worked for whatever 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 it is that you want because you're so busy focused on what went wrong in the past what hurt in the past definitely you're looking in the past some of you are looking in the past and you're not making a decision based on it and the universe is telling you to take that chance i'm here with this card to take that chance for some of you however yeah for some of you definitely for the other half of you i feel like it's split um you are told you know you know what to do. Oh, and side tangent, yeah. For those of you who are worrying and being told to take the chance, the universe is telling you to trust trust your intu trust your intuition. Think about that. Trust your intuition. Okay, sorry for jumping over again. Um, it's just I had to get that message out. I heard it clear. Uh, but yeah, this one, this is strong, you guys. I'm feeling it strong. Yeah, this right here, you are disappointed. Like this one, ah, oh, thank you universe for this double reading. I love when this happens. Um, so yeah, for yeah, for this first, this first one that I that I caught on, you know that I'm feeling. Yeah, you are disappointed. You are not enjoying the situation. I'm hearing you are not enjoying this relationship. Um, yeah, you are not enjoying this, and you are either trying to avoid hurt, but you're already hurt. That's what I'm seeing. You are already feeling this thing, and you don't want to let go. You don't want to make a decision on what it is that you need to do because you are trying to avoid the hurt, yet you are already suffering, and this high priestess, high priestess is saying you need to make, you know what to do, and you need to do it. That's what this high priestess is saying, you know, just straight up, and then, yeah, yeah. And then for the rest of you, you know, I'm hearing that, yeah, some of you are worried because of a situation like this in the past, being let down and hurt so much in the past with the high priestess. And your case is telling you, take that chance. Take that chance. Enjoy the fruit of your labor. You have worked for it. You have worked for it. Stop looking in the past. Stop looking in the past. You have changed. And if you've changed, you got to trust that change. That's what I'm hearing. And so, yeah, you have Medicine Woman as your oracle card. You are a channel for divine healing power. There you go. So for those of you who are worried, yeah, you're, you're healed. That's what I'm hearing with that. You are healed. You know, be healed. Trust the healing. You know, I know that it can be difficult at times, especially when you're so used to a certain pattern, especially if it's a negative pattern. I get it. You know, I've been there. We've all been there. You're being told to, to power through. You're being told to power through. And for those of you who are reluctant to make a decision on something, you're being told that you have to. You want to be healed. You have to make this decision. You have to. I'm hearing to let go. You have to let go of the situation, you know, in order to heal, in order to see, you know, what's going to become, you know. But to unlock that greatness for the rest of this month, you're being told to let go of something. And then for those of you on the second half who are worrying about something, you're being also told to let go. You have healed or you are healing. And now this time around, it's not what you think. You know? All right. So thank you for those of you who chose pile number two. Please let me know in the comments. You know, let me know. All right. Moving on to pile number three. All right, pile number three, let's see what we have for you. 
We have the death card. Put that in the camera view. We have eight of coins. We have the ten of cups. We have the universe in reverse. Universe in reverse. <laughs> oh well. We have the seven of coins and we have expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Okay, so for those of you who chose pile number three, what I'm hearing for you is that there is a period of transformation that you are either experiencing or that you are due to experience. And the set off is this month. It's happening. You know, get ready. It's happening. Because um, even with this expect a miracle, like what I'm hearing the universe tell me what this expect a miracle is, once you begin the work, oh, wow. Thank you, universe. Okay, once you begin the work, your miracle of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve will come. There's so much that you want to do, you know, like maybe there's travel, you know. There's, I'm just getting with this, you know, there's so much that you want to do. There's so much that you want to see, you know, with this Ten of Cups. There's so much that you want, that you're working on, or you want to work on, and that you're willing to work on now. Wow, thank you. Okay, I got that message. You're willing to work on this now and you're being told by the universe to start now. The time is now. For some of you, you've already gone through this transformation process. You've already begun the work. There's things that you want. I feel like this Ten of Cups represents that thing that you want, you know. And I'm not necessarily getting a specific target for this. Like, I don't know if this is romance. I don't know what is this, what this thing is pertaining to. But there's a beautiful thing blissful thing that you want and you are oh wow you are doing that work you are ready you are ready you are ready you have died to your former self your former beliefs you know former ideas whatever it is that you need to you needed to get out of you are ready and right here yes with this seven of cup coins i keep hearing you yeah you're fighting you're fighting you're working hard you're fighting these things off nobody's going to take this from you because there's things that you want to do or for some of you i'm hearing that you know uh to slow down even you know from travel i'm also hearing i'm hearing that you know with this car you know you're being taken places you know and you transforming your former self um and working on it is going to take you there with this ten of cups and this universe and then for some of you i'm hearing you know to kind of slow down maybe on travel kind of slow down you know uh focus 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 i keep hearing that focus thank you um yeah because i'm feeling like also for some of you with this universe card you're being distracted by other things good things but distracted by other things that's taking your mind away from what it is that you want what it is that you're working towards and so i'm hearing that you're gonna have to kind of ground yourself and you know focus focus and work on it because you're transforming oh wow congratulations you know, congratulations, because I'm also hearing that for some of you with the seven of coins, it has been hard. It has been hard and you are still fighting that thing off, but you are winning. You know, you are making it through. But this path that you're taking, you know, for some of you, I'm hearing it was not easy to get here. But I'm also getting a confirmation that expect a miracle because you have done your part. <laughs> I can't reach it because you have done your part. And taking the initiative to transform and taking the initiative to do the work, this thing that it is that you want at the end of the rainbow, it is coming. And you're being told to persevere. Keep working through it. Keep fighting it off, you know, because you're fighting it off and you're winning, you know. And yes, there's times where there's a struggle to the situation I'm feeling, but you are winning. But yeah, for some of you, I'm hearing to amplify your focus, you know. There's other things, you know, in the universe, in the world, that's what I'm hearing. There's things out there in the world that's distracting you, you know, and some of you, it may actually be travel, but I'm hearing twofold. You are, you are going places. You are some of you physical places, you know, but you're being transformed and taken to a higher level. Stay focused. That's what I'm feeling from this universe card that the universe is telling you to stay focused, have fun, but stay focused. Remember your goal. All right. Thank you for those of you who chose pile number three. Let me know how you feel about that. If it resonated um, in the comment section. And we are moving on to pile number four. Let's see what you have. So we have compassion. 
we have justice in reverse. We have four of pentacles in the upright. We have the knight of pentacles in the upright. The nine of pentacles in the upright. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is my pile of pentacles. Um, we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. And we have the queen of pentacles. All right. So, hmm. What am I getting from you? So, yeah. Right away, with all of these pentacles, like, wow. <laughs> and for them to, yeah. Uh, you need to ground yourself. That's what, that's my first, what I'm getting from this. You need to ground yourself. And I feel like with this compassion card, uh, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Yeah. Uh, for some of you, I'm feeling like, yeah, you know, you're on a bit of a high horse, you know, <laughs> even with this knight charging in through an elephant. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, for some of you, I'm hearing, yeah, you need to ground yourself, you know, um, you need to come down a bit, you know, not, and when I say come down a bit, for some of you, I'm hearing, I'm not saying sacrifice your worth. I'm not saying to settle. I'm saying come down just a little, maybe some of you have, you know, I'm hearing, you know, you gotten a little cocky. That's what it is. Yeah. Like, you know, when you are so overly confident that you become messy. Um, that's what I'm hearing with the situation. Or you've I'm hearing with a lot of you, you've made it to a certain point um in, in life or in a situation. And yeah, I keep hearing you need to come down a bit. Calm down a bit, you know, reground yourself. Um, because with this Queen of Pentacles, for some of you I have, you know, I'm hearing it, you know, you have reached that security, you know. Like you're there in terms of what it is that you want or you've just approached it. And I'm hearing that some of you have stopped working as hard because you feel like, okay, I'm there, you know, I, you know, I, I, I speak for it myself. You know, it doesn't, I don't have, what do I have to do? Um, and then with this nine of pentacles, you know, you're enjoying the fruit, the fruit of your labor and that's a great thing, but I'm hearing that, yeah, there's a bit of controllingness that's that's happening you know and for some of you it may deal with a situation with a relationship i'm hearing that you know you're you're, you're comfortable that's what i'm hearing you're very comfortable in this situation so you've stopped doing the work that it takes to hold on to this situation and with this justice card i'm, I'm hearing karma you know there's a bit of karma but not and you know what? And I hate to say things like, you know, not bad karma. Because the thing about karma is, um, and this is a side tangent, uh, karma is neither good or bad. Karma just is. Karma is simply the principle of you get back what you put out. And with this justice card, I'm hearing there's karma in this situation, you know. And if that karma is to be good or bad, that's up to you. Because for some of you, when you've become complacent, and slow moving in this situation. And you're enjoying the fruits of your labor, but you're not doing the work anymore. So what I'm hearing is, you know, just remember what you put in is what you're going to get back. So for some of you, if this is dealing with a relationship, if you're no longer working on this relationship and by work, you know, not chasing the person down to get them, you know, relentlessly to get them to love you or like you, but are you going out? That's what I'm hearing. You know, some of you go out, you know, court this person still, you know, have fun. Even though you guys are comfortable, you've gotten to a very nice part in your relationship. For some of you, I'm hearing that you're married, you know, but to reignite, you know, this situation. Because remember, you get back what you put out, you know, whether it comes today, tomorrow, next week, 10 years from now, whenever you get back what you put out. That's what I'm hearing for those for you, um, for that message that was for you. Um, and then for some of you, I'm hearing that you're being hard on yourself. Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing that, you know, you're not satisfied. I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lack of satisfaction. You know, you have 
you have this wonderful thing that you've worked on or you you're working towards or you you're established i keep hearing you are established um but you keep charging towards other things it's like you, you keep wanting more and more and more you know and you're being told i feel like for some of you to slow down to slow down and enjoy you know you know you know sit down with for some of you sit down and look at what you have for some of you i feel like um with this justice card thank you universe again for all of these messages wow um the energies must be high because i am getting so many multiple messages for so many of these readings and i am so grateful for it <laughs> but going back into it yeah so for some of you um I feel like, yeah, you're being told to have compassion. You're being told to nurture either yourself or someone else. You're being told to have some compassion, you know, come down, be grounded about the situation, be logical about the situation. Thank you. I mean, be logical about the situation and compassionate. And I'm hearing don't blame yourself, you know. Like, even if you were wrong, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. That's what I'm hearing that you've made a mistake or you or some mistakes have been made but now only thing you can do is work for it to work it out and reestablish new ideas about this situation but have some compassion you know don't be so hard on yourself that's the other message that i'm hearing don't be so hard on yourself you know and i'm also hearing let go of control let go of control of the situation the universe is telling you to let go you know not let go in the sense of you know just you know who may care but stop you have a tight grip on the situation let go and it's gonna work out that's what i'm here for some of you for this alternate this other message yeah um it's gonna work out but and it's and i'm hearing that you feel like the situation has not been handled fairly or you feel like you got the raw end of the stick you know the short end of the stick with the situation um but once again, you know, the work that you put into it, you know, and by work for some of you, it may not be a physical thing you, you can do. But once again, I say this all the time on a lot of my videos, because I promise you is what I believe and it's what I do in my own life. The thoughts that you put out that begins the work before our hands begin that work. So, you know, if all you can do is change your thinking on this situation, if you can stop thinking, I'm oh, wow. Thank you, universe. Again, I'm hearing a why me stop that. Stop thinking, why me? You know, it's okay to feel like, why me? I'm not saying that's not okay, but more so I'm hearing, you know, instead of the why me, what can I do from this situation? What am I supposed to get out of this situation? What is this situation trying to tell me? What am I being taught? And for some of you, I'm hearing, yeah, the situation you felt like it was unfair. There's a bit of unfairness, but it's going to be handled. And in the meantime, you're being told to have some compassion definitely for some of you you've been told to have some compassion with yourself i'm hearing more so with self i'm not even hearing that you're being hard on others i'm hearing that you are being really hard on yourself some of you are being really hard on yourself and you know you're blaming yourself for a situation that even though it takes two to tango you know it's a life situation you know and all you can do is move up from there but that moving up is based on you on the work you are willing to do either mentally, physically, with your hands, or whatever the situation is calling you to do. But definitely take your time, I'm here, with this Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is a slow-moving night. You know, yeah, you're moving forward, but this is a precise night. This night, you know, uh, with this one, I feel like, you know, this queen, you know, the suit of the Pentacles, this queen is telling you, you know, do it, take action. You know, she sent out her knight for you to take action on a situation but you know think of it logically you know be grounded in how you approach it it's not that it can't happen just be patient you know for some of you definitely you're getting a message of being patient but definitely that message of you know come down be grounded you know uh that was a strong 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 message um so yeah I hope that those of you who chose pile number four definitely got something out of this. I hope that it resonated. I got several different messages. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm not trying to jump all over the place. It's just that they come at me so fast and I get super excited. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of energies that will be tuning into this video because there's a lot that I am channeling. And I thank you 
those of you who are watching this, thank you for these messages. Um, wow. So, yeah, I am amazed. Okay, so moving on to pile number five. Let's see what messages I have for you. How can you make the most of the rest of the month of May? All right, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have, what is this? The Ace of Wands. Oh, you're being called to action. Justice again. Three of Swords. And the Death card in reverse. And your message is, Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. Hmm. So I feel like another, this is another grounding messages, message. Even though there are no pinnacles in this particular pile, I feel that you're still being told to ground yourself in a way. All right. So with this one, I do feel like this has to do with relationship. I'm getting a sense of that. That some of you had this happy ending or this ideal. And not that the relationship wasn't good at one point, but that, yeah, that that you are in a state of heartbreak. For some of you, this may not be romantic. This may be something, you know, of a different nature, you know, um, career-based or family-based. But at one point, oh, wow, thank you, universe. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing stuff. All right, so at one point, I'm hearing that um, this thing was exactly what this Ten of Cups entails. It was beautiful. It was happily ever after, but it fell apart. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. It fell apart. And I'm hearing that some of you have been really closed off since the falling apart of the situation. And you're being called to action. You're being called to action to do something about this. Um, and you're being told to transform yourself. I feel like some of you need to let this situation die. Because I'm definitely feeling a, a spirit of a lot of you have not let go of the situation and you're being told to let go that's what i'm definitely feeling um and you're being called by the universe to transform and you're being told by the universe to do it now that's what i'm definitely hearing you know this is your message for the month of may to amplify the rest of your month you are being told to do it now and with this justice and upright i feel like the universe this is your sign um for some of you who have been looking for a sign concerning this situation when will I get over this? When will it stop hurting? This is your sign. Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing, um, not revenge, but you want to know, are they going to learn? What happens to them? This is your sign. Get it closer. Universe is telling you this situation will be handled justly. Once again, this is my karma. Karma card. <laughs> um, um Oh, wow. And song. Oh, yay. Okay. I'm sorry I paused for so long. But so Karma Chameleon, um, Boy George. Uh, and so I love old, old school music. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this song is, pay, is playing in my mind. Uh, once again. So for those of you who chose pile number five, I want you to YouTube or Google um, Boy George, Karma Chameleon. Um, yeah, I believe that's the song. Yeah. I believe that's the title. So, yeah, some of you who came here, you are heartbroken. And the universe, this is your sign. I'm sorry I keep repeating that, but I just keep hearing it. This is your sign. Um, <laughs> yeah, the situation is going to be handled. It is going to be handled fairly. Um, what has been done to you, it's going to be resolved. Don't worry. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't try to do nothing. For some of you, I'm hearing that you had plans and, and plots in motion and in place. But I am being told by the universe to it's out of it's out of your hands. Let 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 the universe deal with this because karma, what we put out, and I said this in a previous pile, what we put out is what we get back. And for this person, what they put out to you is what they're going to get back. Yes, thank you, universe, for this message. Wow. So yeah, I'm hearing, you know. I'm hearing, you know, stay kind. You know, for some of you, you feel like you're, you've been taken for granted. Stay kind. You know, stay wonderful. Stay beautiful. I heard that. Thank you. You know, stay beautiful. Don't let this thing mess you up. I heard that. Don't let this thing mess you up. Yeah. This situation, yeah. This is your answer for some. Yeah. 
for number five, I'm here, this is your answer. And definitely look up that song because that's the first song that has popped into my mind literally all day um, since we started this reading. And just, it just in general, and I love music. Music stays in my head, but like just all day, I have not been focused on, you know, music. You know, I have not, you know, the jukebox in my mind has not been playing, but that song popped up for this pile look it up and i'm gonna look i haven't heard it in you know forever um oh wow yeah you're being told not to worry not to focus on because you're focused on this thing you're focused on this heartbreak on this hurt on this loss but you're being called to action by the universe the universe is telling you it's time it's time for you to transform it's time for you to let go i'm hearing that it's time for you to let go it's time for the rebirth and this card says rebirth um but yeah, it's time for you to transform. It's time for you to rise above. And I'm not necessarily hearing forever ending that this... Because mm, I'm not hearing that this chapter is completely like just kaput. It's all the way closed. But I'm hearing, yeah, you, it's time for you to step away. Completely step away. Yeah. Yeah, so for those of you who chose pile number five. And I don't know if this resonates with everybody or not. Um, well, it don't necessarily resonate with everyone. However, though, I'm only getting the one message from this card, from this, um, pile. Yeah, there's some of you, you are very hurt. You have lost something big and you are heartbroken, but you are being called to take action. Let go for time being. That's what I'm hearing. Let go for the time being and understand that this will be handled fair. And I feel like with this mother earth, the universe is telling you, you know, go outside that's what i hear with this one you know like get some fresh air do stuff ah thank you universe oh always coming through i'm here get out your house some of you are in hermit mode remember i told you at the beginning of this reading i'm getting a strong earth vibe you know a strong pinnacles like you know situation i'm getting some some very grounded but yet there's and you know what was amazing was the fact there's no nothing earthy aside from mother earth in this situation but i am here for you get out of your house yeah this message for whomever that was for you know get out of your house you know get some fresh air you know i'm here for some of you you know go plant a tree <laughs> that's funny <laughs> uh but seriously i'm here go plant a tree uh and maybe not a physical tree but you know like house plants you know um get outside get around nature you got to get outside i'm here just in general get outside you you know and for those of you watching this, it is spring. For those of you who are watching this in the U.S., you know, this is spring. Get outside. I keep hearing, get outside. Doesn't matter if you're looking at concrete or, you know, endless pastures and patches of grass, you know, and flowers. I'm here. You got to get out there, though. You got to get out there. And I'm hearing that you will be told what to do once you get out of your house. That's what I'm hearing straight up. Get out of your house. And, yeah, you'll be told what to do once you get out there. But you being called to get out into the environment get out into the environment and wherever you are in this world you know for those of you who are watching this you know there's beauty you'll find the beauty you know there's beauty but you got to get out of this because i feel like you've been definitely in your head i'm definitely feeling that for you you've been in your head you've been sitting in regrets not regret of you know i'm not even here of maybe what you did but regret of this thing falling apart you're being called to action with this ace of wands you're being called to action to Get up, transform, and it's going to happen by you getting away. And for some of you, it's even, you know, going to see the world, you know, going on a mission. What, what, what type of mission? I don't know. I just heard that going on a mission, you know. Wow. And oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm getting another one. I'm going to eat, pray, love situation with this. Some of you need to go out. You know, I don't know if you are familiar with the, well, it was a novel um, called Eat, Pray, Love. Uh, and then it was adapted into a movie starring um, Julia Roberts called Eat, Pray, Love. And it was about a woman who went through a terrible divorce. Um, and maybe some of you, oh man, maybe some of you have went through a divorce. Ooh, that is painful. And I'm sorry, you know, definitely. Um, but yeah, some of you went through a painful something, a painful se se separation. And I'm hearing, you know, to eat, pray, love, you know, like it is time for you to get out there. Yeah. And, and you have two assignments for those of you who chose pile number five. Look up the Boy George song, um, Karma Chameleon, and look up Eat, Pray, Love. Listen to that song, re-eat, pray, love, watch the movie, or do all three. But definitely, 
look up you pray love you know and karma chameleon that is for you you know thank you universe for that um and i'm sorry for those of you if you have watched through the piles um one thank you um and two i'm sorry that i don't have other you know that it didn't pop up for me for you and the other ones um however yeah but i'm feeling that strong for pile number five so yeah uh please let me know if that resonated um hit me up in my comments you know let me know and uh for those of you if you have enjoyed this video once again please like comment subscribe if you would like a personal reading please hit me via email my email is available in the about section um also visit me on follow me on instagram instagram will be in the description box um i will put it in there after this video and yeah just you know enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for tuning in till next time